welcome to creator classes i am gurmeet singh and in this lecture we will cover the volume and surface area of cylinders and note that this lecture is part of the complete series on volume and surface area of various 3d solids so let's begin the lecture in the previous lecture we have done with the cuboid and the cube in this lecture we will cover our next 3d solid that is a right circular cylinder as in the previous lecture, I have told that the base of every 3D object is a 2D object. Like in the case of cuboid, the base of the cuboid is a rectangle and the base of a cube is a square. Here for the cylinder, the base of this 3D solid is a circle. The base form of the 3D solid cylinder is a 2D shape that is a circle. So let's see what is a cylinder. If we take a circle, and if we keep on placing the congruent circle or the same circle one over other, we got a pile of the circle. All the circles are congruent, that is all the circles are same. We have placed all the circles one over other up to the height of h. We have denoted this height as h. The final figure that we got is a cylinder. So this is a cylinder which is formed by placing the congruent circle one over another. This is the cylinder. This cylinder is known as a right circular cylinder. Why? Because we have placed all the circles one over another. If we join the center of the top circle with the bottom circle, we got a straight line. And this straight line is perpendicular to the bottommost circle. This straight line and the bottommost circle is making a right angle. So this cylinder is known as right circular cylinder. Wherever we will talk about the cylinder in this lecture, we will be talking about the right circular cylinder. Got the point? So we got a right circular cylinder. Let's move further and let's observe this cylinder into a detail. If you observe this cylinder, it is having two faces, the topmost face and the bottom face. And these two faces are circular in nature. That is these two faces are circular. Okay. Further, we have also got a one curved surface. This is the curved surface. So basically, the cylinder is made up of three parts. The topmost circular plate, the curved surface and the bottom circle. Okay, two circular faces and one curved surface. Got the point? This is a basic construction feature of a cylinder. Let's move further and let's try to calculate the surface area of the cylinder. Let's see if our fundamental of the surface area is matching here or not. In the introduction chapter, we have seen the surface area is the total area of the surface of a 3D solid object. Okay, here our 3D solid object is a cylinder and we have to calculate the surface area of the cylinder. Let's see what are the surface this cylinder is composed of. Just we have seen this cylinder is composed of two circular faces and one curved surface means the surface area of the cylinder will be equal to the area of topmost circle plus area of the bottommost circle plus area of this curved surface okay so first of all let's give the dimension to the cylinder let's assume the radius of top and bottom face as r all these plates are congruent that is all these plates are same so the radius of all these plates will be same that is the radius of this complete cylinder will be same so we have assumed the radius of the cylinder as r. Further, let's assume the height of the cylinder as h. This will be h and this will be r. We are calculating the surface area. We have seen the surface area of a cylinder is equal to the area of the topmost plate plus area of the bottommost plate plus area of this curved surface. And we have assumed the radius as r. So can we say area of the topmost plate will be equal to pi r square? That is the formula of area of a circle and the area of the bottommost plate will be equal to pi r square okay so pi r square topmost plate and pi r square as the bottommost plate that is the circular plate further now we have to calculate the area of this curved surface this is slightly tricky so your full attention is needed here we have to calculate the area of this curved surface this curved surface is basically a rectangle a rectangle is folded into the form of a curved surface if we mark a cut over this curved surface and if we open this curved surface, it will be a rectangle. Got the point? The curved surface of a cylinder is basically a rectangle 
which is curved into the form of a cylinder. Got the point? And now we have to calculate the area of this curved surface. That is basically we have to calculate the area of this rectangle. And what is the area of the rectangle? It is length into width. So first of all we have to calculate the length and width of this rectangle. If you observe the height h will be the width of this rectangle. Okay, this rectangle is formed from this curved surface. So the height of the cylinder will be equal to the width of this rectangle. And the length of the rectangle will be the circumference of this circle. We have just opened the curved surface that is a circular surface into a rectangle. So basically the length of the rectangle will be equal to the length of the circumference. That is the length of this curved portion. And circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. That is length of the rectangle will be 2 pi r. Getting the point? So we got the length and the width of the rectangle. So now can we calculate the area of this rectangle? The area will be equal to 2 pi r into h that is 2 pi r h. That is the surface area of this curved surface. So we got the area of the curved surface and we have also got the area of topmost and the bottommost circular plate. So can we calculate the final area of the complete cylinder? That will be equal to 2 pi r h plus pi r square plus pi r square. On solving, we got the final formula as 2 pi r times r plus h. Okay, got it? This is the formula of total surface area of the cylinder. Here you can take pi as 22 by 7 or 3.14. That is the standard format. Okay. Moving further, the question may be asked to calculate the complete surface area. Or the question may be slightly tricky and they may ask for only the surface area of the curved surface or the surface area of topmost plate plus the curved surface or only the bottommost plate. Basically the fundamental is that the question may trick you to find the surface area of any of the three components. The cylinder is having three components, topmost plate, the curved surface and the bottommost plate. Any combination can be asked in the question. So you should know the area of the curved surface is 2 pi r h and area of the topmost plate is pi r square and area of the bottommost plate is pi r square. On adding these three components we got the final area of total cylinder as 2 pi r times r plus h. Got the fundamental? So this understanding you should know. So we have got the surface area and we have also seen the various components of the cylinder. Let's move further and let's see the volume of the cylinder. We have seen how this cylinder is formed. We have taken a circular plate and we have keep on adding the circular plate up to the height of h. This fundamental is resembling our fundamental of the cuboid where we have taken a rectangular plate and we have added the rectangular plate up to the height of h. So the same fundamental of the volume will be applicable here also. That is the volume of the complete cylinder will be equal to the total space occupied by all these circular plates. That is, the volume of this complete cylinder will be equal to the area of the base into the height h. And here area of the base is pi r square and the height is h. So we got the formula of the volume as pi r square into h. Getting the fundamental, this is a volume. What we have done? We have calculated the area of the base and we have multiplied it with the height. The same fundamental we have seen in the cuboid and the cube where we have taken the area of the rectangle that is the base of the cuboid into the height up to which we have placed the rectangles. Getting the point? This fundamental is applicable in the case of cuboid, in the case of cube and now we have seen the same fundamental in the case of cylinder. Okay? So finally we got the volume of the cylinder as pi r square into h. That is the standard formula of a volume of a cylinder. Ok students, we have got the surface area and we have also got the volume of the cylinder and we have also seen the various component of a cylinder. So that's for this video. Thank you very much and best of luck for the exam you are preparing for. Note that this is the series on volume and surface area of various 3D solids. So best of luck and have a great day. Bye for now.